the end of today's factorio tutorial, you will be able to bake an artisanal combinator free sushi in your own home. Sushi in factorio generally refers to the somewhat questionable practice of putting a lot of different kinds of items on the same belt, uh, in the same way that we're going to somewhat questionably force a lot of different food metaphors into this same video. And um, this all works because these inserters are pretty good at only taking things from the belt that the assembler needs. So we've got we've got some yellow fin over here, we've got some some eel over here down here we've got some duck and shrimp and it's going around in kind of a sushi belt which is where it gets its name from a good sushi will have like a rich dense texture of a lot of high value items but always also a bit of space into which the next items can be put and the thing we want to avoid when we're making a sushi is a waterlogged congested sushi where we're going to struggle to get new items in. We always want space to put items in and take products out. And yeah, a large commercial kitchen with a professional setup will will do this with a pile of combinators. I'm today going to show you the method I use at home, which just uses a small number of simple circuit conditions to make sure that the meat continues to rotate even when we're not looking at it. Um, so yeah, so we're not doing we're not doing the kind of whole hog one sushi belt around the full base thing we're doing kind of a a tactical rotisserie chicken of choosing a small number of dishes with particular ingredients that we can yeah kind of organize onto smaller into several smaller belts so i guess we're doing like a kebab of rotisserie chicken or something let's go to the rcus where we've got kind of the simplest implementation of this in the factory and also this little test kitchen uh, which demonstrates the core observation for this kind of sushi a uh, yellow belts have a capacity of seven and a half items per second per side these assemblers swing at you know close to ish one per second which if we set to stack size equal to one means that we can have seven different inserters putting seven different ingredients on the same belt continuously and reliably with a little bit of space to make sure that everything can continue to fit and so this is yeah this is this is the core thing we're going to do this is also why we call it insert or moderated because the amount of stuff going into the build is controlled by the rate at which the inserters are putting it in the build and um, so it's not great for things like green chips or things that uh, need need a lot of materials it's good for recipes with high crafting speeds and low input volumes and um, so we've got some weird numbers here because we're in a mod don't worry about that all the recipes are vanilla uh, we've ended up with yeah let's let's turn this proof of concept part one into proof of concept part two which is something more like an active build so what we want to do is have a box where we are putting a the ingredients we want to sushi we want another belt that goes around in a loop uh, we want this inserter to be stack size one and we want inserters that are faster than the ingestion inserters taking things off the belt and the reason for this is if we ever end up in a congested state the the faster inserters will be able to take things off the belt faster than the input inserter is adding them meaning we always revert back to this nice evenly structured sushi that we want to use for our builds and then we just build everything else by taking from this belt and having assemblers here i guess we're making power armor mark 2 if these are efficiency 2 modules um, and yeah the the other thing to mention is this we don't want to be making these things directly onto the belt we want them somewhere else and being inserted into this kind of mise en place box but only if we have some threshold of these say not met if this is say less than 20 so this inserter is currently disabled and i can, I can grab some of these so these these efficiency modules will back up into the other build which by induction we assume is stable um, as these efficiency modules are taken by whatever build process these this box will run down there's always going to be space in this box for this faster inserter to clear things off a belt and so this kind of sushi plan will 
fail slash halt into an empty belt, which is a whole lot easier to restart because then we just put more things on it and it restarts again. So let's have a look at the RCUs, which are kind of the live version. Um, yeah, we've ended up with kind of this fairly light, airy sushi texture, which is fine because speed modules and blue chips and RCUs are all quite rich flavors. Uh, we are putting these on the belt at overridden stack size of two. So we're using basically four of the seven slots air quote slots for this side of this belt and um, we are splitting up the inputs and putting them in different boxes as we recycle them and we've also got an output buffer which is a good idea we could also take outputs from over here if we were like we can do outputs either with filter inserters or with splitters if an rcu goes around again it's still fine this thing will eventually get everything but it's a good idea to have an output buffer so that we can control whether or not we put inputs into the build by checking whether the output buffer is full. And this is just another nice way that we can make sure that the sushi halts to an empty system, in the sense that if we have all the RCUs, we don't back up RCUs within this thing and create a mess. We just don't put blue chips and speed modules on a belt. Um, so that's that's basically all of it. That's that's essentially the key to making an insert or moderated sushi. Uh, we, we choose some recipes that have high craft speed and a low input volume, and we moderate the rate at which these things go onto the belts with inserters, and we get this nice kind of sushi texture. We don't have to use any combinators, which is cool. Once you're happy with that as a pattern, there are a bunch of other you know, fun adventures we can have with this Inserta Moderated Sushi. Over here we have a nice LDS layer cake of the copper and the plastic being belt fed as usual, but the outputs and the steel being sushi together on the other side of the plastic belt. And yeah, we've got the same setup over here. We've got a slow inserter, which is over it in stack size to a smaller amount. We've got a faster inserter that will clear all the steel off the build into a preparation chest, which is only being topped up if there's not enough steel in that system already. So this is this hopefully should not back up. And then as an extra culinary surprise, the controls on whether or not we continue to put ingredients into this so the LDS doesn't back up is actually on the belt fed side of the system so that's entertaining and um, down here we have here yeah, this demonstration is now ready this is a demonstration of why we do not want a waterlogged congested LDS we can't get any more engines onto this red chips bill onto this red chips line um, it shouldn't just be red chips it should be a bunch of things we can't get any more sulfur on as a result the blue circuits have stopped and the problem here is this chest is actually full and um, this chest this this build produces a surplus of red circuits as well as blue science and I think in the yeah I think we otherwise solved this by taking the red chips out this way um, but this is a nice demonstration of how a faster inserter can help self-correct a build. So now there's space, now there's space for sulfur to go on, and um, there'll be space over here for engines to arrive. Yeah, here we go. And um, this blue science should probably start. Um, yeah, we've got another real stranger example of things happening over here. This that's because we've got enough engines. This has failed in an acceptable way by just having a clear belt that we can now just go and add things to. This is moderated not by normal inserters but by the speed of long-handed inserters that are also adding two per swing um, but these are still slower than the filter inserters taking things off so it's fine and we're also just using this part of the sushi build to transit steel into this holding chest which so it's this is not necessarily an input or an output chest this is just kind of a chest that will buffer and yes yeah, steel yeah engines engine setup we're also yeah, this is the chest that looks at how many engines we have, and we're also only adding gear wheels to the system if we have not enough engines, um, which is, yeah, a nice way of making sure that this always has the nice, even al dente structure that we're looking for with this kind of sushi. And yeah, this this, this sushi is now self-corrected back to a nice, even flowing state. With Yeah, this, this is... Again, without actually needing any combinators, with with a couple of careful circuit conditions, we can guarantee that this this flesh is perpetually oscillating, uh, which is nice. And there's yeah, it's a tool you can do a bunch of different things with. I think the the other last thing I wanted to mention about this one, which is again pretty weird, because we've got 
rail on one side, the other side is the sushi side. We have chosen purple science and military science as things which have a small enough ingredient set that they will all fit on that other side of the red belt. You can also do this with upgraded belt and other speeds of inserters, um, but the the red ammo is being inserted at a rate of one inserter swing. We've got a faster inserter taking any surplus red ammo off, and then this box actually circuit controls the input inserter to the red ammo, so we just don't make any more red ammo if this box already has however much we need. Um, so... So yeah, that's that's pretty much how this particular technique works. Um, you should now be able to, in, in your own home, uh, replicate uh, any particular implementation of my recipe for al dente rotisserie chicken insert on moderated sushi if if that sounds like a good idea please please enjoy and remember to always take responsibility for your terrible decisions